This is Excel 2016, Module 3, Part 6. We are looking in this video at lookup functions. Specifically, we are looking at the VLOOKUP, which does stand for Vertical Lookup, because the table that we use is located or set up in a vertical fashion. There are other lookup functions, such as the H lookup, which we will use later in the semester. But the V lookup does tend to be used more often. With the V lookup, you can see with this function, there are multiple parameters that we have to consider. The first item is a lookup value. This tells us what we're trying to locate in the table of options that we have. Then there's a table array. This tells us where the table of all of the options is located. We need to include all of the options as well as all of the columns that have answers to the questions that we are trying to find out. Our column index number must be a number. And we'll go through each of these as we work through the formula. It must be the column in the actual table array where the answer that we are looking for is located. It is not an Excel column like A, B, C, D, E, or F. It is a number. It is the second column, it is the third column, etc. The range lookup, I like to think of as the type of lookup we are trying to do. If it says true or is blank, then we are looking for an approximate match to the lookup value. So for example, if I were working with a grading table and I said this individual's score is 91.5, then I would tell it to find the closest match to that number and tell me what grade the individual had. So if that was an A minus, then that would pull in. 91.5 is probably not specifically listed in my grading table. Typically, it might say that 91 is an A minus and you know a different number like 94 is an A but if you got between 91 and 94 then you would have an A minus so you don't want to look for the exact value you want to find the closest one that's an approximate type of a VLOOKUP an exact match is what we will be doing in a moment when we're looking at our corn farm example. We want to find the exact corn hybrid in the table of possible options. If we don't find the exact one, then it needs to give us an error message because we know we have something typed in wrong. It has to be exact, okay? So when we do our formula, this example here is based off of the one in the file we're gonna use in just a moment. The one issue that is not considered here is that this formula is going to be copied and so some of these references that we're using may need to be absolute. So let's go ahead and take a look at our VLOOKUP. 
in our file that we've been working with for our farm, the Wingate. We're going to start out by saying we have planted the corn hybrid that says CS and then it's going to be 6478. Now what I want to do is I want Excel to locate this value in my corn hybrids table. I want it to find the yield that that particular one has and bring it back and display it in that cell. Then I'm going to copy the formula down to row 17 and I want it to find it and return the height. And then the same thing here with maturity. So to do a VLOOKUP, I'm going to start out in cell B16. I want to find the yield. So to do this, I'm going to go to the lookup and reference group on the formulas tab. I'm going to choose V lookup. I can't stress enough that on these complex functions you really need to use these function dialog boxes. This helps you so much because I'm clicked in the lookup value and if you look down here, it gives you the information of what needs to go in there. So what you're trying to look up is which corn hybrid you are using. Now we've said in cell B15 that that is the corn hybrid we are using. So that is your lookup value. I need that to be absolute because when I copy this formula down, I'm still using the same corn hybrid. Now the second question is the table array. And notice it gave us another tip. So if you use these lookup boxes or these function argument boxes, they will help you with screen tips and information about the function you're trying to do. So our table is over here where we listed all of the options. Now what you want to make sure is that you select the entire table, not the headings, but you want to select N20 where your first hybrid is and you need to go over all the way to column Q because all four of those columns will be used in some of the um, VLOOKUPs that we will be doing in just a moment. Now again, this table is not going to move, so it needs to have absolute references and when you absolute reference a range, you need to do both the starting and the ending values. Now the column index number is the next thing. And the important thing to remember is this must be a number. Okay, so you're going to look at your table and you're going to say, Column 1 is never going to be the answer because this is where my lookup value is stored. I already have this piece of information. So which answer am I looking for in the cell I'm in? I want the yield. Well, that is in column 2. So you're going to put a 2. And then finally, it says here, if you are looking for the closest match or an approximate, this needs to be true 
or left blank. If you want an exact match, you have to type false. So we are going to type false. And now it shows me the answer that it is going to bring back. That the yield we put in, CS6478, has a yield of very good. And it displays that. We could copy this. And so we're going to copy it down, but I do want to go in and I want to take a look at the formula so we can see what needs to be changed. So in order to open this back up, I'm now in B17. I'm going to hit the FX here next to the formula bar, and that will open up that dialog box. So if I look at these options, the lookup value it says was B15. That's the actual hybrid we are using. That's still the same. When I look at the table array, that is over here, N20 through Q27. That is still the same. So now, what I need to change is this column index number. So in this formula, I need to return the height of the stocks. Well, that is in column. It's not in one, two. It is in three. So I am going to change this to a three. And it says it's going to bring back a medium height. And then the final piece of information that I need is the maturity, which is stored in column four. So nothing else changes with the exception of the column index number because I'm returning a different piece of information. One thing to keep in mind as you are working with your VLOOKUPs, your lookup value, that item in this first box should never be a part of the table. If you come over here to the table and you search for the right answer and say this is my lookup value that is an N23, since you had to search for it, you are doing this wrong. What you want is you want to type a value here and have Excel search for it. You want Excel to do the work. You do not want to do the work. Now the other thing to be aware of with an exact match VLOOKUP, if I have a corn hybrid that does not exist in the table, it will return error messages. So if you see this pound NA, that means that the value that you have entered as your lookup value does not exist in the table. Okay. We will see the VLOOKUP again later on in the semester, so you do want to make sure that you are clear on it and understand it. We will see the VLOOKUP again. We will also be incorporating it into other functions and we will be looking at the H lookup, which is a variation. So let's go ahead and save our work. And the final video for this module will look at the if 
functions.